All right, boys. Uh, I believe we're live. Are we live? I'm just refreshing my, uh, my thing here just to make sure. Uh, are we live? We are live. Sweet. All right, boys and girls, we are live, and we have some very cool new stuff. We have some cool new stuff. Um, I think I'm going to wait for someone uh, like Santi to get in here before we show off the cool stuff, but once he is in here... He's going to see it because he's going to say that he's here and it's going to pop up above my head. Here, hold on. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Look. Oh, yes. It's above my head. How's it going, Hermit? I have ascended. Oh. Oh, oh, I see. How do I? The forest fights back. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get it to where it's like centered over there. I think we'll just leave it like that for now. Just leave it like that. And also check this out. Check this out. Uh, we're gonna test something. You ready? Bam! Oh, is someone following me? You can see it. If someone follows me, it'll pop up on screen. Streamlabs is an amazing thing. Uh, we push both pounces here. And Witchwood Piper will get us to uh, Gadget Sand Auctioneer. Nature Studies is pretty good. I don't know if I want to do that turn one. We might wait and see what they're doing. Well, there's Auctioneer. So Witchwood Piper is just going to be some good card draw. Uh, but yeah. So I really hope we get a, a follower during the stream so I can freaking see it. That'd be awesome. This be good. We're evolving. That's right. It's it's like the PewDiePies were evolving, but backwards, but forwards. Evolveception. The, I actually... Normally, whenever I come home from work, I, like, take a shower, I do some laundry, like, I get stuff ready uh, for, to end my night so I can go to bed right after the stream. But I was actually working up to the stream. I was editing videos, I was working on Streamlabs, I was getting my donation link set up. Like, I, there was actually quite a bit of, of prep work in this one. I think that'll go back to normal tomorrow. Um, I might edit like one video a day whenever I get home before the stream, but who knows. It's not really editing. It's just highlighting something from the stream and then putting or recording an intro, putting it into Vegas, and then putting the outro in it and adding some fades. So it's not really editing. Uh, I wonder what this priest is thinking. Also, we're not going to kill this priest unless Yogg deems it worthy because... Uh, this is not the Togwaggle OTK deck that is actually really good. Like, it's really good. <laughs> this is the uh, the worst Yogg deck. Um, I don't see myself playing anything. So let's nature study, see if we can't hit like a um, uh, Ferocious Howl. Overflow is not it. None of these are it. Breath of Dreams is fine, though. Um, we'll actually use that now, so it doesn't interfere with our chain later, I think, because it's two mana. We're cool paying one mana for everything else. Ooh, and that's upgraded. That's good. I'm thinking about playing some Arena. I don't know if we're going to... Um, but Arena seems like a lot of fun, and not a lot of people are streaming it. It seems like a dead format in this game, so it might be kind of cool to play some Arena on stream. Who knows? Maybe we'll do that an hour or two into it. 
Uh, I think we wait, and it does. That thing doesn't matter at all. We're we're just gonna use that to target it with spells. So we'll gain an armor and pass. And then next turn we can gadget sand, iron bark, pounce, embiggen. Embiggen does nothing now except for buff our yog. Um, so we're we're free to play it. The only reason you don't play it first is uh. Gadget sand. Man, if we were playing freaking the normal OTK deck, he'd be dead. He would be dead this turn. But, oh, is he just playing big ol' big priest? Alright, let's go. I got the best deals anywhere, boys. We're starting, we're starting the stream off. Just need the twig. That's fine. I'm running out of cards. There's twig. So we do this. Uh, we do this to kill our own auctioneer. And then does that get rid of overload? It does not. It would. But it doesn't right now. We're going to do this and hope for Pyroblast. It wasn't Pyroblast. It's the rush. That's so frustrating. <laughs> I keep rolling that one. I need to just play normal Yogg. It's so bad. <laughs> Whatever. We're not going to die to this. We, we have quite a bit of taunt. Uh, he doesn't even have enough damage on board to kill us. So, we just have to survive two more turns. And we don't have an auctioneer anymore, so we can just spend naturalized roots roots killing his stuff. Uh, but I mean, he also has to think about how much damage we can do. Because if he just passes, we have living roots, living roots deal with the 2-3, and naturalized deal with the 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, rude. But we get a coin. That's more spells. Oh, uh, deck tracker. I need to know how many spells. Deck tracker. Well, that's not very nice. Whatever, I got two coins out of it. I actually didn't count. It might be lethal. It's not. It's not. He swung with all his big stuff first. He's like, ah, nuts. It might actually be worth it to Centurion Ward. Try to clear every bit of stuff I can, and then Centurion Ward gain some armor. But that's all I can do. It's either that or naturalized double living roots. Hmm. We can kill that with this, this hero power. And then uh, naturalize. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do that. Two. Two. Hero power. Swing, swing. Oh, I swung the wrong six drop, but that's okay. Okay, and if we survive, we have second Yogg. Wow, he mulliganed the obelisk. Uh, I guess he thought I was tokens. But I mean, that's like the only card in his deck he's probably okay with burning. Just because it's too late in the game now. It's either you win or you lose with Yogg. Zarek's cloning gallery. That sucks. Notification settings. Um... Oh 
boys. We're up to three viewers. Three viewers, boys. Um, Druid, Shaman, and what? I think it's good to christen, christen this with another free Shaman go through. Free Shaman and then uh, either Coin Rogue or Mecha Thing Rogue. Just, just having some fun. Having some gaffes, some laughs with the boys, you know? We're just laughing and gaffing with the boys. I would like to turn the notification sound down on whatever that follower that is. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Right. This isn't... This was a different free shaman. Uh, we're still okay with it. Fire Plume Harbinger is just the worst. Don't know why it's in the deck. Four viewers! We're up to four people in the first ten minutes. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. What the... What? Oh. Were you just testing the following thing? <laughs> Appreciate the follow, Hermit. That's pretty cool. Is there a mute all notifications on Discord button? Because Jesus. Actually, there is right here. Um, let's just turn off all notifications. Sweet. Hopefully that works. Uh, it's Mage. I don't really want to invoke Galakron right now. We'll just um, do that and pass. I can't follow my own channel, unfortunately. Um, everyone in chat's going to have to do that for me. <laughs> Oh, that's what that button does. It repeats the alert. It's weird. Uh, we're just playing now with this thing. <sighs> Do we save this until turn six? I don't know. I guess let's just put some pressure on the board. Fair enough. It's, it just goes away. Hmm. I th maybe I gotta be a prime member or whatever. Gosh, I gotta stop hitting the mic. Uh, maybe I gotta be a prime member to get like custom whatevers. I think we glacial shard on um, on five, gyre worm on six, and then stone sentinel on seven. Look at that! We got a three five. I mean, I guess cryostasis is good enough. In it's not. It's not good enough. But it's it's okay with specifically the shaman hero power because a lot of times your your totems can attack they just can't because of your their uh, uh attack so if you have totems that have just been chilling there and you freeze them with cryostasis that's just a buff you can't use that turn but still two mana plus three plus three wouldn't even like it would be really good in certain decks but i don't know Okay, and we actually have double Gyre Worm next turn. How? Oh, but it's so not mana efficient to do that. Like, I'm going to do it, but it's not mana efficient. Let's test the Reddit thing. Let's see if we're in the sidebar. Always advertising. What's up, new viewer? I don't know who all is in here, but I appreciate everyone who is joining the stream. Are 
But yeah, we got double gyre worm here. Beautiful. Those are cool. Uh sidebar, sidebar. We got rules, we got discord, we got related, we got mods. That's it. That's it. I'm not in the, the sidebar. I have no idea what he's talking about. Don't you make me draw two cards. We're going to get greedy and just push six damage face. Six damage is not nothing. Um... And that really gives us Kalamos. It, Kalamos has a fireball battle cry. So if we use... Fair enough. Uh, I don't think there's any way we can kill the Doomsayer. Uh, no. But we can play this Firefly just in case we draw into uh, another, like, elemental. Like, let's say we draw Kalamos next turn. He will be active because of Firefly. You guys know what I'm saying. That's fine. That's fine. I, I want to advertise on the Wild Hearthstone subreddit, but I can't. For whatever reason. Man, we got four viewers. Let's go. That's, like, that's really fast, the amount of viewers that jumped in. Wow, though, that's, that's freaking not cool. Uh. I guess we freeze one of them. And then hit the other one with those. Just in case, like, I would save the two ones to push face, but they're one health and it's mage. So he could have a randomly generated arcane explosion. He could have a lot of stuff, okay? So we're just playing it safe, playing it a little, a little safe here. And we are clearing his board with our board so he doesn't clear our board. That looks like a blizzard. Oh, uh, yep, yep, yep. So I was right in doing that, but he just kind of Reno Jacksoned and cleared my board. That seems pretty good. Eye of the Storm, though. That's pretty good. Uh, what's going on, Sinister Canadian? Are you uh, Sinister from Discord? Aw, oh, thanks for the follow, Sinister. Now you know what I look like. You can see my beautiful face. That's cool. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Uh, we got Dragon's Pack or Eye of the Storm. I think I think it's better to play Dragon's Pack and then Voodoo Hexer. Uh, to have a, a board state that doesn't hinder our next turn. <laughs> yeah, after that annoying Ana BS. Yeah. Um, a sleep Dart. A sleep Dart will get you. Oh wow! If he's not even, it it I guess I should have paid more attention to the arcane artificers because if he plays any spell, it's so much. Like it just throws the burn plan completely out the window. Ah, jeez! One secret gains six armor. If that's ice barrier, then that's freaking fourteen armor for one secret. Oh, and another ten. Yeah, we just lose. Yeah, I shouldn't have left both of those alive. I should have done everything in my power to kill them. Uh, well, I can kill them now. Assuming that that's not Flame Ward. Because I didn't test first. But there's no way he'd just play Flame Ward on a 2-7. Um, and we can actually do... Please don't be counter spells. Sweet. Wasn't Flame Ward. So it's Ice Block... Or rigged fair game. And if it's rigged fair game, we can stop it forever. But I'm going to assume it's ice block. Because he's playing time warp. It's probably the uh, infinite fireball time warp. 
So ice block just seems to make sense, right? <sighs> we don't have very many good draws left. Uh, funnily enough, more Robbie would be not terrible because <laughs> we could swing with the 2-7 here and free something. Uh, but he is 6 mana. That's awkward. Kalamos isn't very good because we haven't played a spell. Well, we haven't ruled out that it's not rigged fair game because I hit him. Freaking game. Galakron is arguably the best draw on the deck. What is this game? It's Hearthstone. Heroes of Warcraft. Uh, it's, it's just a collectible card game that I like to think I'm good at, but I play terrible decks. Um, yeah, well, technically I didn't play any elementals, so Kalamos, uh, won't be active, but that's okay. I'm gonna save him still. But yeah, this is a really fun, really fun game. Right now, it's kind of dying a little bit. Because, like, a lot of people weren't really happy with the battle pass, and they think the game's imbalanced, and, you know, there just isn't enough balance updates and stuff to keep people engaged, but I'm still having a good time with it. So I decided to stream. I guarantee the next draw we are drawing is Icebreaker, and I'm going to be pissed about it. Icebreaker is just the worst right now. Mm. Just the worst. Forbidden Flame to kill a Frozen 8-5. Um, we're not going to deal 2 damage. We're just going to turn that into a 5-10 a and then play this. I kind of want to swing face. I've already done it. It's too late. You can't talk me out of it. We might not lose. All he's done is nothing <laughs> for like three turns in a row. We've gotten to keep our, our big boys. Wow, that's a pissed off storm. Of course it's the right way. Of course it's the right way. Of course. You don't know that if you don't have the quest though. Another deep freeze. That's unfortunate. An icebreaker. Uh coming to save the day. Hmm. Maybe we just don't care about those guys and swing crazy amounts of face damage. Oh, but don't break that. We will swing this hero-powered one at one, though. Maybe I could have done that and swung with the weapon. Uh, Kalamos is a 9% chance on draw, so it's not worth it to play the elemental because... You'd rather guarantee the trigger than gamble on it next turn. We're not setting up for any crazy lethal if we do that. What's his things? It's like heal 12, deal 6, fill your board with 1-1s, one and deal 3 damage to their board. So it's like lightning storm, healing rain, fireball, uh, forbidden ritual. Because you are spending all your mana on it. Firefly. Now we can play that. Uh, we're not gonna, <laughs> but we could. Mage doesn't have any huge win or like uh, wipe the whole board uh, spells except for the amazing Reno. But six of the cards in his hand were generated. Three of them like are running like top decks. And one has been in his hand since turn four. So he either has been holding on to the Amazing Reno and can, has just been confident in freezing our stuff, or he doesn't have it and he would have to top deck it to counter our Eye of the Storm. Which I'm okay taking that gamble, I think. Eye of the Storm is our... But we're, we're fine on board right now. Like, we don't need to play that. We don't. Maybe we just Firefly and then swing the 2-1 at uh, the 3-2. 
can't watch the stream right now because my internet is the worst ever, but I'll be back. All right, Hermit, no worries. I appreciate you stopping by as soon as the stream started, though. Morabi is still a really good draw because if we if we freeze the water elemental with our hex the voodoo hexer we get both right whenever another minion is frozen just straight up if another minion's frozen I get a copy of it so if if I swing this into this they both freeze I get both copies don't don't you play around Morabi Polymorph Boar. Okay. He's using a lot of answers here. And that's frozen. Um, there's Glacial Shard. We're okay playing another Flame Elemental here. No, yeah. Yeah, we'll play Flame Elemental. Um, swing everything face except for this, which will go here. And then we'll play Eye of the Storm. We'll, we'll force him to have another answer. <sighs> we also have Glacial Shard plus a top deck Morabi next turn, no matter what. Because, well, unless our stuff survives. Oh, you are not about to combo me. Don't. Don't you do it. L Left flu. I swear to, swear to G. That's a good sign that he is trying to draw a bunch of cards. But he only has three cards left in deck, so it's probably not a good sign. What the f What? Okay. That's fine. No, that's still fine. He, he, there's a 50-50 chance uh, Antonidas is in his hand, but it's probably that one. The first card he drew this turn. Because he kind of, like, highlighted it with his red thing. So we'll see. Oh, he has to have Antoninus now. Was it the bottom card? It was the bottom card! Wow. What a whirlwind indeed. That was, that was pretty good. I do like watching this deck go. Um, what's up, Santi? Glad to see you made it to the stream. Uh, so check it out. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. You can't see the chat because it's in a really bad spot. Let me move it, let me move it. But I did, I, the chat is now on the stream. I just have to pull it up. Okay. Uh, hey. I have a fun OTK Charge Shaman if you want to try it out. No shutter. Heck yes. Let's do it. And while we're doing that, I'm going to go to options in the deck tracker and turn off the secret thing. And actually the opponent's everything. I just don't care. Uh, I do want to show all the Cthulhu counters and stuff. Uh, no. Let's show, let's turn off the flavor text thing. Don't show the results there. How do I turn off the secret thing? Because that's annoying. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know. If I was wanting to learn, would you show me? Would, would I show you Hearthstone? I would. I would indeed. Should be in the opponent settings. Yeah, I'm. I'm in the opponent settings, but I'm not seeing it. Um. Win rate cards, card counter, uh, draw chances, and fatigue counter. I think it's just cards. But I do. I do like looking at the spell counter and all of these. Hide secrets. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's 
literally <laughs> it's right in front of me that's awesome all right all right now let's get your deck in my collection of decks that are bad unless this one's good okay we got sphere earth shock devolving missiles devolve farsight flame tongue sneaky devil Oh, I get it. I get it. You just play all the charge minions. You play... Uh, yeah. I get it. I'm excited. I freaking love Menagerie decks, dude. Nazoth is... The new Nazoth is one of my favorite cards ever. It's definitely top three from th that expansion. It's so good. I like... It's probably my favorite of the four old gods. Really like him. It's... And it's probably bad to hear a power. Right. Because I can summon a totem. And that would fill the board. That's kind of funny. Okay, so we got Murloc, Demon, Pirate, Elemental, Beast. No, we can hear a power. That's fine. Oh, Flame Tongue. You're right. But I guess there, there's no real guarantee that Flame Tongue's going to land in the right spot. But I'll st I still I understand. Same with Sneaky Devil. But I will not hear a power this game. I'm going to keep Haggat this game. And actually, I'm going to keep Devolving Missiles, I think. Mm, we'll keep Sneaky Devil. Because we've got plenty of ways to remove his early game. Uh, and Sneaky Devil's kind of a combo piece. Yeah, this hand's perfect. And if it's combo druid, we probably just lose. Because we're slower than they are, I would imagine. They had no turn one play. Is it bad that I would I'm more scared that they didn't play anything turn one or turn two? I'm kinda scared. Kinda scared. Oh I wanna hear a power so bad. But I won't. Students, today's class will be outside. Did he just kill us F me? Dude, we'll throw down. We'll fight. Torrent is pretty good. That is just an always zero cost, really. Well, Devolving Missiles is really bad here. Uh, do we play Sneaky Devil and Torrent? I think so. Oh, Wild Child, uh, or anyone in chat, type something and then look in the bottom right. I'm trying to test chat. Because I have chat, like, pulled up, but I, I don't know a good place for it. I guess up here is good now that I've removed the enemy everything. So maybe top left? Die, insect. Yeah. Maybe, maybe like that. There's just no real good spot in uh, Hearthstone for it, you know? I also want to make it bigger. Um, let's devolving missile. Well, I can Earthshock coin Haggath this game and kill his whole board. Maybe uh, we'll just devolving missiles first and see what happens. Okay. Okay. I still think it's probably worth it to Haggath this scheme. He's pretty uh pretty scary right now. Chat box properties. Uh, let's go with font settings. Let's let's bump up the the font. Now the font is huge. I still can't get it to go to the far left though. I don't know how. That's fine enough. Good enough for right now. We'll just leave it there. Healing Rain is solid. I really want a hero power here, but I think Healing Rain is okay. It's fine enough. 
we don't need to get the full 12 out of it. 10 for 3 mana is fine. <sighs> He's a beast druid, so I feel like this is a fair enough matchup. Mm. The fact that I can't hit that with... I'm going to choose a new fate. I don't like that card. <laughs> I chose a new fate! <laughs> God damn it. Um, yeah, we'll Alec here, here, like, next turn. Earthquake right now is fine, and then Alec here can kill Winged Guardian plus the Reborn version. Well, that's just not... Stop. Get some help. Healing Rain's pretty good. Pretty good. Do I'm not dead. So we'll actually draw Healing Rain here and then play Alec here. There's Lax watching insects. Yeah, we'll kill it. We are down to eight, seven. We're down to seven if he swings ever. Stop, stop, just, just stop. Devolve, you're a legend. Oh, and that's all earthquakeable. Get out of my head, dude. Wow, that was a really nutty top deck. And I wouldn't, I probably would have just chosen the fate of like Torrent if I drew it. Tidal Wave would have been really good, but not as good as Devolve. Devolve was the best draw there. By a lot. By a lot, a lot. What's this one do? Hmm. What's this one do? I think we just dump our whole hand next turn. Uh, if we draw Nazoth, I don't know if we keep it. Oh. That's scary. Guys, can we play his deck next? This deck looks fun. I want a hero battle. It was a really good top deck. And Haggard this game's not terrible. Like, it's pretty bad because he just got off of Survival of the Fittest, so it has to sit in my hand for four turns to even counteract that spell. But I didn't choose it. I chose a new fate, and that was my fate. He did Prince Keliseth me! And he's gonna do it again. He's gonna survival me again. What is happening? Oh, it's a UI. Hit his own face. Don't hit me. That's fine. Keliseth is the space. Uh, sure. Farsight's like choosing a new fate, basically. That's the literal opposite of cool. That's that's all I got. All right, we're going again. It's fine. It's fine. It's just a bunch of board clears, a bunch of combo pieces, and then the win. Do you have to do this in um, Shaman? Do you just pick Shaman because it has the most like board clears and healing besides Priest? I mean, you could do this in Priest. You could play Big Priest, but with Charge Devil Sword instead of all the other cards. Uh, we probably won't make it to Tidal Wave Mana if we keep it. But I kind of want to keep it, you know? I'm going to keep it. Uh, I just put it because it has charge for literally every tribe. That, yeah, true. Oh, oh, I see Alec here. Uh, Alec here has the charge. That is a really large font. So we're going to turn that down.
We're, we're, we're learning. We're learning here, people. I just am... No! I... Just face someone playing a deck that would be alright and constructed in Arena. Yeah. Also, uh, we might play some Arena. Is Would people be interested in watching Arena? I don't know. Arena is really fun, but... Uh, I don't know about it. Well, I'm sorry I hear it powered. That's that's my bad. It was just instinctual. I was like fixing the the font and then I came back and I was like, oh, I have two mana and hero power button. Damn shaman. You son of a I swear to why? Why would you do that? I would like watching arena uh cool we might start a uh, arena run i want to um i don't know i want to do a lot of stuff but the i would like to build a big priest deck kind of like q block but with charged devil sword instead of a bunch of uh like taunts and stuff i think that would be kind of fun but we can start an arena run kind of soon actually i've got the gold for it i don't care about that That card doesn't see as much play as you would think it would. World Kick Master is ridiculous. It's two mana. They made it two mana. They wanted that card to be good at two mana. Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't really care about that board. Sinister, you're a prime gamer too. I'm just gonna hag at this game. I don't like it's fine. Stormy Stormy. On the wings of evil. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna blue gill. I'm not gonna hero power again because it still is just a 50-50 on whether or not we get flame tongue. And if we play another flame tongue and it dies, it's a 66% chance. Whereas if I keep hitting this button, we're not getting flame tongue. I don't know that emote, but it's kind of adorable. Kind of hilarious. No, trust me. Huh. Devolve is just really bad here. And I don't have a good play. So I guess we just, <laughs> we literally pass the turn on seven. That hurts. Heard you guys like tempo. <laughs> Deep freeze. Fair enough. I mean, we're not dead right now, and Charge Devil Sword attacking this 3-6 is most likely going to get hit by a Water Elemental. So I don't think we die there either. So if we do this and then Tidal Wave next turn, uh, that's I don't I don't think we die because he only has 11 damage, 12 with Hero Power, so he needs to find six somewhere. He has one World Kick card which has some percentage chance of being Eviscerate. But even if it is, he still needs two damage somewhere. Okay. Draw a card for each card you played this turn. Wow, that was really bad. That was really, really bad. Oh, and he leaves this alive, so Tidal Wave gains me more health. That's awesome. Uh, what is that? 18. 
casual 18 health, and then that heals me to full. Sweet. <laughs> Tidal Wave's such a good card. That card has flown under the radar for too long. I think the reason it's flown under the radar is because it's 8 mana. I think we Earthshock the Water Elemental, actually. We charge Devil Soar, kill the 2-1, and then Earthshock that so it can't freeze our stuff. I'm tired of being frozen. So what has died so far? It's a Bluegill Warrior has died, a Flame Tongue, a Healing Totem, one Charge Devil Soar, about to be two. So we need Skycapped Crag and Alakir to die. Ow. I'll have to wait until 5 p.m. to play with you. Yeah, uh, after 5... After the... Yeah, Sneaky Devil. Sneaky Devil's... Your other minions have plus 1 attack. That's decent. That's pretty good. That's plus, like, 5 damage on, on the combo turn. Um, but after 5, I upload the VOD and then highlight some games, edit them down, and then... Uh, schedule them for YouTube. So I'm actually normally done around 6.30. Listen here, dude. You can't you can't tinker sharpen oil all your problems away. Do I just earthquake here? <laughs> Sorry, Sinister. I mean, I might play Overwatch. I don't know. Depends on if uh, the boys are willing to play. Because I have a video scheduled for tomorrow. And I can do some more scheduling whenever I get back. Or whenever I get home from work tomorrow. Alright, bet. We always do. What? The boys always want a game? Ooh, it's Alec here. We charge face. We got five viewers right now in the stream. Appreciate everyone who is here right now. That is a taunt divine shield if I've ever seen one. Your six damage weapon has no power here unless you get exactly the rush or the two damage. Blacky. But you won't. And even if you do, that just kills this. I don't know. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's okay. Because we got Healing Rain to get us back up to 25 health. Uh, is that lethal? 8, 14, 15, 16. <sighs> That's really close to lethal. And him and Mikir are gone tonight. Phantom. Oh. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Depends on where your whether your flame tongue lands. Yeah. Uh, it's probably better to just play it safe and wait, and we can swing face with this healing rain. Uh. Because it is just safer that way. And if we draw Sneaky Devil, we can Sneaky Devil Tidal Wave and guarantee it's in the pool. Oh, we're chilling at such a high life total. Fair enough. I think that is just lethal now, because Charge Devil Sword is 8, and then Bluegill is 10, and then Alec here twice is 16. Dang it, we're one off. But if, if Flame Tongue hits, then it is lethal. But if it's not, and he's Reno, I'm going to scream. So it's... <sighs> is it better to wait? It's better to wait. We're not in a position where we 
can lose immediately, right? So, I think we just, like, wash everything away. Go back up to full, and then just wait on another charge minion. Or, no, actually, we're waiting on Sneaky, uh, Sneaky Devil. Because once Sneaky Devil hits, we're golden. That makes Alakir 8, that makes Charge Devil Sword 9, and it makes Bluegill 3. So it's 20 damage. And then Flame Tongue is an extra 2. Or 4. Flame Tongue can be a grand total of plus 6, because uh, he can land next to Alakir. But because I hero powered at the beginning of the game, uh, he might not even land at all, which is frustrating, but... Again, we're not in any major rush. <clears throat> mm. Torrent. That's not Sneaky Devil. And now we're definitely not on pace for lethal, which is annoying. What if we just play Nazoth and he doesn't have an answer for every minion? Because if he Renos, he can't answer all the minions. Such That's a bad idea, right? I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. I might. Charge Devil Sword, Alec here. Oh, we're missing the pirate. That's why it's also charged as only seven, not eight. Seven. Oh. Dang. So it's actually only 13, 15 damage, not 17. Mist Caller. Mist Caller should buff on board. Like, it might have actually saw some amount of play if it did. Quit healing! Oh my god. Please kill that. <sighs> what is this? What what does he have? This one was created by okay, so that's a dragon, that's a spell, and that's a lackey. Dragon spell lackey. None of which can be my class. The dragon could be like a different class card, but it wasn't. That's a rogue secret. Uh, this looks like... What the... F where did that come from? Academic Espionage. I didn't even know he played that. No. New fate, please. Come on. Just get out of my face. Well, now we just have to wait for the full combo because we chickened out on his stupid weapon so now he's gaining a bunch of life but you well that lets us wait another turn so that's nice but he has some armor now okay charge devil sore alec here new fate Arr. okay So now what are we looking at? 7, 13, 15, 19? Sneaky Devil would be 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then if we roll Flame Tongue, it's 25, 26, 27, 28. Man, this is a uh, rough. If we draw sneaky, d ah, <laughs> dude, come on now. We're gonna draw sneaky devil and we can't earthquake it away. Yep. We're dead if we don't earthquake. We're just dead. We're probably dead regardless, honestly. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So even if all of those roll uh, one attack minions. Which technically one can roll zero, but it's just not worth it. It's not worth the risk. I think next turn we just play this off. Because Alec here is a taunt minion. And we need the taunt divine shield more than we need to OTK him, you know? Okay. If you hero attacked this turn. What the H, dude? You literally were planning on attacking. <laughs> I did. Wow! And not only did I win the 50 50, but its positioning was perfect with Alec here. So that's 10, 19, 21, 25. That's really freaking close. Man. If I knew I was going to be that lucky, I would have done it on, like, turn 10. I don't even know what turn it is now. He's cast 20 spells. Maybe it was greedy to push Healing Rain to the bottom. Torrent? Seems like he has an answer for the 5-5 five, five Wind Fury if he's doing that. At least enough to pop the Divine Shield. What is he doing?! Oh, he just had lethal. God, BM is the most annoying thing. Uh, Alright, Santi, are you ready to at least draft an arena deck? We're going to edit this to be... Uh, Let's go. Alright. We got Hunter, Warrior, and Rogue. I don't know what's good in Arena. Hunter's a safe bet if you're just trying to go face, because the hero power is insane in Arena. Rogue probably has the second best hero power in the game for Arena, and I feel like Warrior is just really bad in Arena. I feel like this is a low roll on, healer, on heroes here. Uh, what do we think of my Eve? Now is the time. I feel like Rogue can do some pretty crazy shenanigans. I don't even know what sets are legal in Arena. Like, this is going to be a completely blind draft. Um, I'm going to go with Rogue here, I think. Yeah. Basically, any random card generation on top of a normal card, so a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two add a random card to your hand from your opponent's class, is nuts. That card's bad, that card's bad, that card's nuts. So we're going to pick that card. <laughs> Spy Mistress, one of the best one-drops in Rogue, I think. Uh, definitely better than Leper Gnome. We're, we're not trying to push face damage, we're trying to maintain board control. So Spy Mistress on one is really strong. Uh, Wolf Rider is really good, but so is Steward of Scrolls. Steward of Scrolls on 5 and a Vanish on 6 is uh, definitely a thing. You can also grab Eviscerates and stuff. I would say Rogue is probably the second best class for, like, maybe third for Burn. Because uh, Hunter has a lot of Burn. I'm going to go with Steward of Scrolls here. Vanish isn't in the pool. Isn't Vanish? <gasps> Vanish got Hall of Famed. Uh, maybe that wasn't the thing. I mean, we're not picking that just for Vanish, but I don't know. There's 
That's probably some spells. Um, Greyheart could be okay. Like if we draft, try to draft more aggressively to stealth dominions. A three mana three three draw two cards is pretty good. Uh, but the toxic blade guy is freaking strong too. I think this is consistently more strong and that's situationally strong. We go with the more consistent card. Vulpira are weird, man. They got some big ol' ears. I mean, they're kind of like a cute, but in a weird way. They're like they they just look like a cat or a fox. Uh, there's a second one. We can pick that. We can sneaky delinquent. All of the cards that say death rattle, basically add this card to your hand are crazy in arena. You have to handle it twice. So I actually am leaning towards sneaky delinquent here over Volpira. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go delinquent. Huh. Proto Drake is a game winning minion. Because they, they have to deal with an 8 8, and then they have to deal with a 7 drop. Which, in my case, will always be a 1 1. Like the Vanessa or Lanessa Light Sorrow or whatever. But we're gonna grab Proto Drake here. It's it's just the nuts. Dang, I went from five viewers to two viewers whenever I switched to Arena. People don't like Arena, I guess. Oh, um, Wild Child and Santi, uh, are you guys able to watch the stream if I switch to later in the day, like six or seven, probably six, six to nine p.m. Because if my work shifts my schedule, I won't even be able to start streaming until five. So just just let me know on that because I, I am curious on how what the different stream schedule would look like for for the the normal people who come to my stream. Yeah, it's actually better for you. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, and the days might change. It might not be Monday through Friday anymore. It might be like off shifted, you know, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I know that it's better to maintain the same like six to nine or two to five or whatever every single day. So people know when to expect you. It just depends on the day. Um, soul bound ash tongue. No, <laughs> I just read that card. No, sinister strike is just not great either. Like one mana deal three is insane but that's only really good if you're in a really aggressive deck anyways and right now we look more mid-range maybe leaning towards aggressive with all of these very aggressive stealth minions that deal three uh scott having pulls spy mistress that's true but that does limit us to picking only really strong one drops at that point which is, is probably fine we can do scott Iver. Smug Senior. Cards nuts. Oh my god. Gain plus two attack and stealth. Two mana, five two with stealth. But Smug Senior's really good. I feel like this is the pivot point in the draft where we choose either mid range or tempo or aggro. Sweet Tooth is aggro to its core. Smug Senior is tempo. Tempo wins more games than aggro. So I'm going to go with Smug. Uh, Assassin's Blade, I guess. Just four durability on a weapon with a Vulpira Toxin Blade in the deck is not terrible. Rock Ranger, I'm not picking. So it's either between a four mana 4-4 four, four that does nothing else or an Assassin's Blade. So probably Assassin's Blade. Gracious Reader, a Circus Amalgam, and Fan of Knives. This is a hard one. Those are all really good cards. Four mana, four or five with Taunt is just good in Arena, I think. I don't know. I haven't played in Arena in a long time. So 
the the meta might be so crazy now that only the insane decks survive uh fan of knives amalgam is good in arena yeah right now i'm between fan of knives and amalgam because i don't think our deck will be empty-handed enough for voracious reader like she's a nutty top deck if you're top decking like draw three cards that's really good but on a more consistent level uh, it's either amalgam or than i guess i'll go with amalgam i'm gonna go with you santi this is the only class that slithered swarmer would be good in but i think swindle is just better we don't have that many spells but we'll we'll find some but what if we don't <laughs> bone chewer is one of the best two drops i think in arena man but this draws two cards I'm going to pick Swindle. There's another Volpira, uh, but all of these two ones that deal one are crazy. Oh, Tempo is better, so I should have picked the 2-3. That's a rip. We're definitely picking uh, Rocket, Og Merchant. Worst case scenario, it's a 2-1 with no effect because of Skydiver, and best case scenario, it kills something. Like that card, all of those are really strong. How many Rush minions do we have? zero okay uh sh shattered sun i'm cool picking shattered sun we're gonna have a minion on turn three for shattered uh bgh no it's for every minion what is for every minion Not every rush minion. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> the freaking the cart guy. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Yeah, that card probably would have been okay in this deck, then, huh? We live and we learn. We live to read cards. This is why I don't play arena. Uh, head crack's real bad. Head crack is really, really bad. But it is a spell. We need spells in this deck because we have a swindle and we we want to hit it something with it. Uh, maybe we'll pick bog creeper here. Actually, huge taunt minions are pretty hard to get rid of. Foxy fraud, it's amazing. Uh, Ethereal Og Merchant. Onyx Mana Scribe's really good, but we don't have any spells. We have two spells, and one of them has to be generated. But our, right now, we're trying to bank on getting more spells. So we'll actually pick Mage Scribe. Uh, that card's pretty good. Getting summoned with the uh, Skydiver. Optimistic Ogre's kind of hilarious. Crazed Alchemist is just a good card in general. Og Merchant. Ooh, Plague Bringers might be okay. Especially with how low to the ground our curve is. And we don't we need a four drop. Sure. Well we're not picking two. We'll pick Colt. Are we seriously not hitting any spells at all? This is crazy. Like, I might just snap pick the next spell I see. I hope to see an Eviscerate, but I don't think I'm gonna. Claw Machine's crazy. 
Fishy flyer's crazy. What? Too bad we don't have any friggin' lackey support. I would totally pick that card. All of these are really bad. All of these are really, really bad. This is making our deck worse by picking one of these. I mean, we have a Foxy Fraud, so, like, Edwin isn't, I don't know. <laughs> it's so bad. So bad. I'm going to pick Sawgoth here. I know it's awful. I know. But Grand Lackey, whatever, it's unplayable, and Edwin Van Cleef got nerfed, and we just don't have the support for it. Like, at best, it's a 4-mana 6-6. Six, six in our deck and it's that's really not good sawgoth is a good top deck uh we'll put in some card draw fan of knives swindle shiv <laughs> uh wand thief for sure like that's a non-bow with um skydiver but one thief is just i think i would argue one thief is the best one drop in the game right now one mana one two discover a mage spell like babbling book was one of the best one drops in the game and it was a one one that just gave you a random one discovering one is nuts cloak of shadows is fine it's just not a very, it's not i don't think it's that good in arena cloak of shadows is just good for stall um shadow step we do have a lot of battle cry. We have a lot of battle cry. A lot of death rattle, but a lot of battle cry. I'll take Shadow Step. Run it! We're running it, boys. We'll play Arena f for a couple of games, maybe. Maybe until three wins. And then we'll switch back to wild just so that I can get some footage for the YouTube channel. Rogue v Rogue, who built the better deck? Ooh, the coin. The coin's pretty good. Wow. Uh, Rocket Og Merchant is um, pretty good in the opening going second. Going first, it's not that good. But if he has a turn one play that that can kill, that's a one mana two one with an assassinate attached to it. Yeah, Skullamancy has some of the best arena cards in the game and ashes of outlands gave us those one mana one two, or two ones which are freaking nuts oh gosh i didn't have a turn one play uh, but this forces a dagger. Like, he can't play a two drop, which gives me. It'll give me the initiative. And then I can just play the cult and whatever. Him not having a turn one play is probably going to really hurt him this game. Huckster is probably just better. I want to play it really bad. You want to buy I'm okay. I like random generation. That was Whispers okay of the Old Gods. Okay. So where does the magic come from? Do we coin dagger here? 
to kill that. Probably. Yes. So we kill that, and if he trades, he has a 1-1, one, one, but we can kill it with the second charge on a weapon, and then we can play, uh, like, Delinquent, Shadow Clone, or Fishy Flyer. Shadow Clone's something we're going to have to save until later. I think. Shadow Clone's really good. We Fishy Flyer here. Just get rid of it. Not get rid of the fish if I get rid of the four or five taunt. Yeah, wild child left. Oh, but we're back up to fear. What is happening? Twitch, make up your mind. There's a lot of spell damage. We don't have any combo cards in our hand. It sucks that we can't develop our board anymore, but we are denying him board development with these these rush minions. So, that's all in all a good thing. Like, his imp caster isn't super threatening. <sighs> we can play three two drops, two two drops, and a hero power. That's basically it. Okay. Hmm. I wish I could kill that one one. Uh let's play Steward of Scrolls here. Ooh, Sap is really good against his little four four. Because he's going to have to pay 6 mana for a 4-4 four, four with Taunt and give us 2 5 drops. 4 drops. Oh, right, right, right. That's the thing. I thought it gave us Stuart. I think we just sap Assassin's Blade just to get the blade up. I, we're, no, I mean, we can play one of these. Like, the Berserker is fine. Like, it's not as man efficient, but board presence is key, I believe. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That does discard the Assassin's blade but we're okay with that we're dying He has three of those? <laughs> what in the H? Amazing. Sog off off the top. Sog off off the top. No, it was close. Ah. Uh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're not playing Arena anymore. 
What just happened? We're going back to playing OTK decks. He played so many of that card. <laughs> if we didn't drop all of our viewers, except for you, Santi, I probably would still be playing Arena. But we lost everyone. It, it hurts my spirits. Can you try out a deck that I made recently? Yes, sir. Or ma'am. I assume, sir. Uh, go ahead. Send in the deck list. You got it. All right, let's see it. Sorry, I was looking at Lieutenant Eddie's uh, Twitch channel. It's not working. Did you get all of the uh, letters and stuff in that code? It's a rogue. Uh... Hmm. Okay. I spelled rogue wrong. Yeah, it's just rogue. Beneath the grounds, okay. If it's Reno. Uh it probably is. The the chances of 
uh, Raza Priest is about as high as... Uh, a chance of it being Raza Priest is about as high as it being Big Priest. So, I'm okay keeping beneath the grounds here. Spirit of the Shark. We'll keep Sap in case it's Big Priest. And Foxy Frog's just a good card. Evil Miscreant. That's why Foxy Frog's a good card. It's neither. Okay. But that does mean he has a lot of card draw, which means Beneath the Grounds is arguably better in this deck. Or against this deck, rather. Oh, God. I want a coin Beneath the Grounds, but I know that's a bad idea. This zero power hit pass. Uh, next turn we have Lackey, Miscreant, Swindle. I don't know if we have enough space in our hand for that, but we'll go Justice for it. It could still be Reno, that's fair. Um, whenever I played this deck back in the day, it was double Explosive Sheep, double of that 2-1. Two, two Novice Engineers, two Loot Hoarders. Seems like a poor use of that card. I guess he just needs more card draw. Uh, we can also beneath the grounds here. Maybe we coin beneath the grounds, swindle. Coin beneath the grounds, swindle. The problem is, is that if you commit to going face, you cannot trade ever because you have to race them before they do that. And if they do get to do that, they're probably going to go Amara, um, Seance, Seance. Or whatever that card is. The two mana, add a copy of a card, a minion to your hand. So you can't deal 120 damage to them in one game, really. It's really hard to do that. Mind if I roll me? Mind if I roll me? The deck could still win since the Spirit of the Shark Cthune deals 60 damage. Kind of forgot Cthune was the finisher. It's pretty good. Arcane Missiles is pretty good here. Do, 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 do. This is the worst lackey, dude. Discover a dragon is the worst. Hopefully he doesn't, like... Ah! Oh, why didn't I play around it? Oh my god! Did it not... Did he not draw a card just now? Uh, hold on. Hold on. Let me go back and look at that. Did he just not draw a card right now? I'm watching. I'm watching. He did draw a card. Rip. So I just didn't get my 4 4. I thought like that was a way to make them not draw cards, which would be pretty sweet. 
<gasps> oh, sweet. My G Fuel shipped. That's pretty exciting. I've got six more tabs coming. Mav Cthune is pretty good. Do we? Do we have a way to discount Tenwu and Cthune to bounce Cthune back to our hand, or no? Bird person. <laughs> Do not worry, Rick. My name is Bird Person. Well, that's a... That's a rip. That's a lot of cards I gotta draw now. And I think stow away cards that didn't start in your deck, so every Psychic Scream card freaking... That's awful. <laughs> I hate Draconic Laggy. Uh, whatever. We'll play Malagos. If it survives, then we can eviscerate them. Aya Cthune plus Malagos is kind of funny. I think we just sap that evil miscreant. Hope to god we don't roll dragon. No dragon. Cool. <laughs> Go, Nap Bagel! <laughs> That's a two mana mana side totem, boys. It's gonna draw me a card every time until I don't need it to anymore. That's a Manatide Totem that knows what you want. He knows what kind of fish you like. He knows if you like rainbow trout or... <sighs> he has so many psychic screams. I don't think he's drawn one yet. It's just shadow visions. I mean, prep eviscerate here is still a, a line. It's a line we can take. Right? Prep Eviscerate does 9 damage. At least it's card draw. Yeah. I'm gonna hit him. Yeah, I didn't know exactly what you meant by that, but I was I was willing to agree because I've been spacing out the last like tw 15 minutes, and I apologize for that. You are safe now. Mind if I roll need? Did he just played it? We win. We cannot lose right now because he just freaking played that like it was a card to play. Didn't even seance it. And I forgot, Flick is really good at handling a seanced uh, Amara. Like, if he did seance, Flick would have just solved our problems. I don't think we lose against this deck now. Like, that was just a arena with 10 extra health. He just gained a 9 health. 
I don't know why he did that. Are you about to combo off? What are you doing? What is he doing? They can't attack. So I'm going to leave them be for now. Oh. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to kill this one, I guess. Because the only thing he has in his hand is two vivid nightmares and uh, whatever. But if I leave it, he's going to have way more. Huh. He's got one beneath the grounds left, and he's only got s like seven real cards left in his deck. Those Psychic Screams are going to end up hurting him if he doesn't have an infinite combo. But that test subject really worries me. Maybe I should have flicked it. It would have killed the other one. That's what I should have done. It would have turned off a combo from it. He's waiting a really long time. Oh no. That I'm flicking. If that, if I get to, like, if it gets to my turn. He is playing the board. He doesn't know how this deck works. I know how this deck works. He doesn't. Uh, but we're just gonna get rid of all of those. Get rid of his board. We're actually gonna shadow step flick. No, no, no. We can do this to flick. Yeah, that was, that was really bad. <laughs> I think he had the whole combo in his hand and he just couldn't pull it off. I think the line is supposed to be, um, Radiant Elemental, Radiant Elemental, uh, Test Subject, Divine Spirit, Divine Spirit, Vivid Nightmare, Topsy Turvy, the copy, and then... Uh, Vivid Nightmare, one of your Radiant Elementals. Vivid Nightmare, the original again. And then pile on more stuff. It's it's a really hard deck to play. It's probably one of the hardest decks in the game to play. Because the, the lines are so not, like, intuitive. They're not intuitive. Sansi, how much money do you think I'd have to pay Lieutenant Eddie to shout out my stream? Scale of one to a thousand. Because I don't want to... I don't think I've earned anything yet on, on stream. I've been streaming for, like, what, seven days? It's eight days sticking to a schedule? Like, that's not good enough. That's I, I, I need to be streaming for way longer than that before I even consider asking anyone... For any kind of, uh, like, assistance, you know? Stowaway is really good. I'm keeping Stowaway. Uh, oh, but it could be Odd Paladin. If it's Odd Paladin, do we keep Flick? I don't know. <laughs> That's not a combo. Oh, th this is fine. This is fine. This is, this is where we stand. This is where they fight. Or this is where we fight and this is where they die. Welcome to the stream, uh, viewer number three. How is it? it? It is not Odd Paladin, but it looks like some dudes. Well, Foxy Fraud one Thief. That just gives us some, some pressure. Volcanic Potion It's fantastic. That's, that's what we do. That's what we do. We probably could have just hero powered that thing down uh, rather than killing it with the wand thief, but I didn't think about it. 
Also, I should probably get a Twitter and Instagram set up, right? And then, like, tweet out when I'm live. I just, I'm not good with Twitter. Because here's, here's what happened, right? I had a, um, a ver uh, I had a, the Midnight Gamer Twitter and I had a Midnight Gamer Instagram, right? I had both handles and, um, I, I started getting really into game development, right? So what I did was I went to both of those Twitters because I hadn't used them for anything yet or both of those accounts. Oh, it's Clown Paladin. It's Clown Paladin. How do I beat that? I don't, I don't know how to beat that. Oh, God. I think we just draw Vanish. That's our only out, is draw Vanish. Because, gosh, that sucks. That sucks. Our other out would be Heart of Cthune. Okay. Flick if you had it, yeah. But he didn't play it this turn, so I still have two more turns. Oh, it costs zero. Why wouldn't it cost zero? Because he drew first day of school with it. Okay, so now our only out is Vanish. Because we have prep. Vanish into Flick. Yep. But we didn't. Uh, what else can we do here? Do we just lose? Hmm. I think we just lose. Amazing. There once was a man from Gilney. We got nothing. <sighs> but that's okay. But yeah, I had um, a Twitter for both, a Twitter and Instagram for my YouTube channel, and then I started streaming. But before I started streaming, I thought that I was gonna like go heavily into game developer mode, in which uh, I have a brand for my game developing company uh, called Virtual Night Studios. Uh, I think that it looks super legit. It looks freaking awesome. Love it. Um, My versus but now I want to change it again and uh, I don't want to give up the handle virtual night STU it's hunter uh, push I mean it could be Reno hunter this hand's fine this hand's fine I gotta stop like trying to do other stuff while streaming, like looking at uh, Twitter and stuff. Because that's just a recipe for no one having fun. And you're having fun, right, Santi? Honestly, if... Wow, it's odd. That's odd, Hunter. That sucks. Honestly, I don't know if it's, if it's a courtesy that you're still here. I really appreciate you being here, though. Uh, regardless of the reasons. Oh gosh. We're gonna get burned down. And all we can do is hero power pass. That's all we can do. Ow. Beneath the grounds. Hopefully he just draws one and we have a 4-4 four -four to work with. We didn't, but he could have. Man, the coin would have been so much better. Shimmerfly. Give me... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Wait, how does that work with Eviscerate? Healbot would be nice. Healbot would be very nice. Uh, but how does, how does this work with Eviscerate? Your combos trigger twice. Does that mean Eviscerate deals eight? 
Because if that's the case, two eviscerates and a spirit of the shark is 16 burst damage for eight mana. Cheap spell. Why? <laughs> Whatever. We're gonna discover a whole bunch of mage secrets. Or spells. Um Primordial Studies. Combust is probably okay, but yeah, let's go combust. Ring toss would be really good if we hit uh does it say minions? Lame. Um, I don't know if we're actually ever going to use Cthun. Deck of Lunacy might not be the worst thing ever. Ray of Frost is just better, but Deck of Lunacy is a consideration. We get a whole bunch of 8-drop spells for 5 mana. Uh, and we'll actually freeze one of them. I should have hit the other one with my weapon. Definitely should have hit the other one. And it's always Huffer! Ah! And he has the second. Ah! Ah, Sante! He didn't kill this, though. We do need to draw a heal bot rather quickly. So away there would have drawn all the Cthune pieces I know. <laughs> but we were dead on board. Uh, I guess we weren't. But we can, we can only play one Cthune piece at a time. Think. Let's go Tainted. It's a 1-1 oh, yeah. Divine Shield for one mana right now. But he clearly has no respect for the spirit of the shark, so. Our only. We're not dead uh, to kill command. We're... We are dead to double kill command, because that's 10 damage. Don't you dare. It is never any other animal companion. Ever. Healbot, please. Why? I I have to draw or I have to get something from one thief. Uh None of these help so evocation. That can reroll basically. None of these help so puzzle box. Uh and we can't corrupt this and also um do the thing so what we're gonna do is evoke first didn't get it so then ring toss discover ice block Oh, thank you. Thank you. I got a 4-4. Four, four. I died. I didn't know. <laughs> I thought Ring Toss discovered Mage Secrets. Because, like... I don't know. If they don't specify, I guess... If if a card does not specify what secret you get from it, then it is a secret from your class, and if your class doesn't have secrets, then it's a secret from the class the spell is. Right? So if you're Mage and you play Ring Toss, it discovers Mage. Just if you play Warrior and you play Ring Toss, it discovers Mage. But if you play Rogue, Paladin... Or hunter, 
it discovers those secrets respectively. It's mage, it's probably secret mage. We're gonna die before stowaway can do anything. This is n not the meta for Cthune Rogue, I don't think. Oh god. Oh, it's combo. Uh, Story might not be terrible then. If we can get Cthun before he gets his combo. Basically, we need to have Spirit of the Shark on four, Stowaway on five. Or just draw two more Cthun pieces. testing for a whole lot of secrets there and it's just not a terrible play why why does that deck run that we're gonna coin stowaway the reason we played eviscerate there is to test for counter spell on coin oh it was rigged fair game oh ironically Hitting him with Eviscerate didn't tell me, or it did tell me what secrets it wouldn't be, but it didn't tell me a secret. <sighs> and if we draw Body of Cthune here, that would be pretty nuts. And then Stowaway just draws Cthune whenever we play it. But this is like the same conundrum as the, uh, uh, oh, that can also draw Cthune. killed it uh but the do you remember that card it was a like a five mana three six that said add the first seal to your hand and then the second then third then fourth then final i think you had to spend like 30 mana in total but it gave you uh 10 mana 10 10 destroy your opponent's deck So it's kind of like that, right? Like, you don't want to spend every single turn playing a 5-drop because you're losing, like, tempo. But these are these are okay 5-drops. So I'm going to 6-6 six, six is the best one. They're, they're all good in their own ways. Wow. It's Secret Mage? It was explosive. Oh, it was Potion. Rin. Yeah, Rin. Ren of, like, the first Disciple or whatever. What was that? Ren of the Hearthstone. <laughs> Ren of the Hearthstone. Yeah, Ren the first Disciple. It wasn't of. It was just... Yeah. So it's kind of like that. Are you having a, a, a jolly time in my Cheerios right now? I think we're forced to sap that 5-5 five five here. I don't have any secrets. So, learn your comic. Sap. Ah, this is rough. Uh, we do have Spirit anti Keelbot on nine, assuming they don't play another secret. That was made by the Apex. Rip Cthune, why? What did I do to Rip Cthune?
Also, the Apex Smuggler should say, discover a non-secret spell. If either one of those is something to interact with minions as soon as they hit the board, I just lose. But I don't have any other option. I don't think. Like, I could vaporize Flick, but that still doesn't guarantee anything. Like, this is heal 16. Right, the board clear that I used was a Cthune piece. That's really unfortunate. Please don't be explosive anything. Why even play the quest? Uh, are you are you active on Twitter or anything? Should should I start a Twitter? Turned our curse into our strength. I want to Cthune someone one time, but everyone's playing so aggressive. Everyone is playing a very, very aggressive deck, and that does not bode well for people who want to play combo decks, but it does bear well for mid-range decks, uh, I guess. We're just going to kill the totem. Our main goal is to keep his totem count down, because zero mana bloodlust is a card. I guess it's zero mana savage or bloodlust is plus three. just sitting there menacingly um Justice is mine. i feel like we can prep wand thief and then if i don't find anything evil miscreant oh if i don't find anything i have Cthulhu. that's a cone of cold that's a cone of cold i'm not holding a dragon so that's not very good uh cone of cold here i like it Mana. Freeze, cowards. Kona Cold doesn't see nearly as much play as it should. Like, I know it's four mana, and you can just freeze a board, the entire board, for three. But it deals one damage, so it can permanently get rid of three dudes. And dude paladin. He kept two of his cards. Below solid. Um, I think we're just going to play the eye here. Try to get rid of some of his damage. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Hit the Nimbus. Gah! It didn't hit the Nimbus. going on hermit glad you're back we are getting rocked we're getting rocked very hard by this man uh heart of cthun is a really good good card here but 
I don't know if um, if it's gonna be good enough. Like, assuming he pushes everything face and doesn't kill my 4-4, we can clear his whole board, basically. But I don't know if that's going to be good enough. I'm really thirsty. I don't have anything to drink. I'm out of liquids in my fridge. That's not true. I have ranch. But, uh... Probably don't want to drink that for water. I got a V8 right there, but it's not a drink either. It's like a meal. I wonder. <sighs> I am really tired, guys. Are you guys tired? There is little time. There is little time. I wonder. I wonder. He did not kill my thing. So we have two mana to have fun with. Because uh, we got a... Oh, but he rolled Healing Totem. He got a 1 and 3 to turn that into not killable. Balls! Absolute balls. There's nothing we can do. I don't think there's any way to like draw a vanish. I, like vanish is just the draw we needed. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, fine. I'm dead. Oh. I'm going to play a different deck. Let's go with the Rada Roasting OTK with Blur. Uh, quest for Demon Hunter Rada Roasting OTK. We got Spectral Sight. We got a Soul Seer. Uh, this hand's fine. Skull of Gul'dan makes it so Spectral Sight is just never gonna be outcast. Unless I draw... Am I okay blurring just to draw an extra card if I draw it right now? I don't know. <sighs> Maybe our goal should just be Skull on 5 with the coin. His claws are more angry than mine. <laughs> Can't remember what that thing with Aaron Hansen was. It's like, uh... There's 35 of them, and they're all angry. I can't remember what that was. If we just do that, he only has to do it 15 times. I have to do it 30. Um... Oh, it was the three diglets. <laughs> it's like it's a duck trio. And they're all angry. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh. Why does every demon hunter run mana burn? It's not even good. He only mana burned and hero powered. Like, oh, and they're all golden. 
This is just a bunch of bots running around playing the same deck. We played against these guys last time. He acrobatted on three! You don't break the walls. Okay. Okay. I just need him to play a minion this turn. And if he doesn't... I just need him to play a minion this turn. Like, I'm not even going to think about the alternatives. He just is going to play a minion this turn. Minion. Yes. You know you wanted to. Oh my gosh, the sweet boys uploaded a video. So we're going to have nine cards, eight cards, seven cards, ten cards. So if we don't draw Yogg then we might have to use blur just to not burn a card right they will never catch me. hey i got you friend hey i got you friend yeah okay anyone who's played hearthstone for a long time i feel like would think this is a bot I don't know if that drew a card. I wasn't paying attention. He made a 1-1, one, one, a 1-3, one, and then he acrobatics last without any hope of... I, uh... Chaos Strike. It's good. Yeah, I'm going to blur. I'm not going to risk burning a, a combo piece. Because uh, we have a second blur. That's fine. All I see is weakness. All I see is weakness. Hey, I got you, friend. Hey. I gotcha. What? How are you gonna pump that one? You have a 4 2. I am just utterly shocked and astounded at the sheer lack of anything. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I just. Know that I don't like it. Deal three damage to all other minions. Sure. Cool. This is just a two mana five five. We'll play it. Okay. Hmm. I know there's a way. Yeah, I know there's a way too. Uh, is it the same guy? No, they're all different names. They are all different names. There's Yogg. So now all we need is Blur. No, it's pretty pretty nice, I guess. 
We'll see what we draw, but Lore Keeper Polkelt's probably the worst draw on the deck because uh, he puts a blur on the bottom. And that's the last card we need. Do that. Make some 33s. Aw, oh, yeah, she's front and center. Sorry if I have a little less energy this stream than my other ones. I, I do really apologize for that. He just gave my one. I can't even. That's. That's the most body move a bot can make. He, Lore Keeper Polkelt, I just told you you were the worst draw on the deck. Anyway, he saw that this dealt one and his hero power dealt two. And he saw that would deal the least amount of damage to his head. That, that, that's a thousand percent a bot. No question. Um, I'm just going to draw three cards. Soul Fragment, Blade Dance, Twin Slice, Soul Fragment. Sure. Just draw Blur. Blur, sweet. Don't use Blur. Alright. So next turn we Yogg Blur. I don't even think we would need to Blur if it was Rada Roasting. Like, the luck he would have to have to it miss that many times, it wouldn't happen. But we still will. It's probably going to fill both our boards with rush minions. <laughs> because that's the one he gives me every time. Don't shoot. Why'd I have to hit him? Why'd I have to hit him with Marrow Slicer? I didn't even get to do it. If that's not the most frustrating thing ever. Okay, so one, two, three, four. That's, yep. Five. So five zeros is four digits. Six digits is four digits. Arana versus Artus. Oh. Okay, so you just take whatever the big number is and then put a decimal. Yeah. Polk out, pretty good. Uh, but we're pushing him. I'm gonna. I'm just going on the assumption it's odd, and if it's clown, then I guess we lose. Because this deck doesn't have board clues. Okay. Never really seen that card played. deck this is that like very rarely do you see people coming up with their own decks so it's kind of hard for me to assume that this guy has just come up with something crazy you know uh a good draw here would be not that i don't know what what a good draw here is Guess let's do that just to see. The worst one. Got it. That one is probably the most powerful one for one mana, but it's also the worst one on turn one. 
It's the most powerful one for him. Uh, if he were to play this card. I guess the least powerful one is the 2-2. Two -two. The taunt. Not terrible. No one holds me back. Uh Well hang on to the coin, because we might be able to um I was trying to get noble sacrifice out of the way, but it's not. <sighs> if if we just keep playing the cards that we draw, as long as we don't draw Yogg uh or Skull Soul Soulologist Malicia. That's a three five. <laughs> Why do I say things? Like, if I say, oh, I hope we don't draw Yogg Saron here, it's Yogg Saron. Every time. Is that never surrender? Oh, oh my god. No, that's not. That's that's fine. I didn't want those blurs. Those are gonna be like zero mana frost bolts. Are you serious? Game? We're gonna have to have a talk sooner or later. And we don't even have any soul shards in the deck. We wouldn't have had them anyway because of the deck of lunacy. But we need to draw spirit jailer because soul seer isn't a thing anymore. And Stop with the secrets. Secrets don't make friends, didn't you know? We're gonna die. Oh. Nope. I guess we just play Command the Eldari in second slice and just try to heal out of it. Is it all my yog? It's all my yog. Cool. One mana counter spell is really balanced. So we accomplish nothing. Then. Oh my god. That was probably one of the most annoying games I've ever played. set up in my chair I'll feel more energized oh, that's a I don't know if that's the thousand win hunter or the uh, fifth level 50 hunter No. 
And we have the whole quote unquote combo in our hand. So we just gotta play a bunch of spells. I guess they're, they added a lot more one-drop spells to Demon Hunter whenever. Because now it's this, summon an animal companion, twin slice, and double jump, right? Hope he plays a minion. just clearing out our hand here so we don't uh, have to depend on drawing low cost stuff from Skull. And we don't have any uh, Soul Shards in the deck yet, so it's not, like, I, I don't have a risk of not discounting everything in the deck. And if we draw a second Skull, that's also really good. Warblades are solid, but we're gonna skull. Warblades are solid. Every time I think like, oh, I hope he doesn't concede, I, I remember he has nine cards in hand and a quest active. Like, a f eight point life swing from a weapon hit is not gonna make him concede. But I'll tell you that for free. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that is a uh, Belcher. is basically ready to go. We just gotta wait until 10. Now we do have Soul Fragments in the deck, though. Uh-oh. That could be bad. That's bad. Ooh, that's bad. Wow, that's really bad. Okay, okay, okay. How do we manage this? We can gain seven life. Um, we can also technically gain seven life by killing that. But if we do, then... Ooh, this is rough. That card is pretty bad now. The Sledge Belcher. Which card? Command the Eldari? They're still fine. What is this? Summon two. Alternatively, we could blades. Let's do that. We'll blades this card and then blur. Gain seven and kill his big guy. I gotta stop cracking my knuckles so close to the mic. I heard that in one of the YouTube videos. Ew. Ew. Oh, Sludge Belcher is a bad, like, you're saying it's a bad card. That's fair. It was, like, it was top of the game. Like, if, if you were up against an aggro deck and you had Sludge Belcher on five, you just won. How do we survive a turn? Do we have to draw specifically a soul shard here and then blade dance our way out of it? Hmm. I 
don't know. At this point, I'm not even, like, worried about blurring. I just want to play Yogg next turn. 7, 14, 20. So we got to gain 10 life or get rid of some of his stuff. If I... Maybe. The only card I can't play if I play Spirit Jailer first is uh, Blade Dance. But we already have a Blade Dance. So... Um, we'll go... If we had... Oh, God damn it. Okay. I just need to draw like twin slice now if I'm gonna draw it. Okay, or none. Zero. That's that's a rip. That's a rip. This has not been my best stream so far. I'll tell you that. Like there's there's streams that I, I'm in and I'm like yeah this is really I, I like I feel like I'm at my best I don't feel like I'm at my best right now so I I'm I'm sorry for not being at my best for you guys what can we play. Let's look up quest. Let's see what quests are in the game. Untapped potential. Oh, need to be in wild. Drone Giants, untapped potential. Marsh Queen, unseal. Uh, open the ray gates, raid the sky temple. The last Kaleidosaur, make mummies. Obelisk, awaken. Bizarre burglary, caverns below. Unite the Murlocs, corrupt the waters. Lakari Sacrifice. We can do a Lakari Sacrifice deck. Let's try that. Rip. Down to one viewer. Damn. Oh, right. Quest. Uh, quest. We'll just put in the cards that are good if you have a quest active. And then discard. Uh, we want to put Solarium in the deck for sure. Uh, all the cards that like to be discarded. All the cards that add more discard to the deck. If you discard this, summon it. If you discard this, do this. Cataclysm. Uh, High Priestess. Two Hand of Gold Dawns. One of those. And then we'll go with like some board control, like uh, Defile and stuff like that. Defile, Felbolt, and Cobalt Librarian. Cut a Explorer for a Mortal Coil. Let's try this. This is a random pile of discard cards. For anyone who's made it this far on YouTube, the reason I'm being so quiet is because no one is here. Uh, Santi left a while ago. Questing Explorer on two is really good. Cobalt Librarian on one is really good. We don't, like, have any... Oh, but I guess this doesn't draw a card unless we have Bakari out. So I don't know. 
I don't know. Let's just do it like that. If we draw a Cataclysm, the quest is done, I think. Uh, we have seven, coin down to six, and then Cataclysm. No, it's not. But it would be close. A little hero power. We are all good, guys. Highest cost card in our hand is a Doom Guard, which I'm not keen on discarding. But we have a lot of discard power in our hand. Honestly, what might what we might do is uh Nightshade, Coin, Expired Merchant, Discarding Fist. Wow. Yep, that's what we're doing. Oh, but Anna ruled on. You were just a bird. Whatever. We're just going to discard a card at random. Not a bad discard. Now, if we draw Cataclysm and play it, um, we will have four of the High Priestess in hand and the quest. Uh, we only have two ways to discard cards in our hand right now, though. That's Doom Garden Expired Merchant. Rising winds. Oh my gosh. If it isn't El Chapo in the stream. How's it going, buddy? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Uh, we have been... Yo. As soon as I saw Zoro in your name, I knew. I knew. Uh... We, we've had some people dip in and out of the stream, so uh, I'm just kind of being a little quiet right now. A little, little, little quiet hour boy. Uh, are you going to be on Overwatch tonight, or are you working? That's a Scrapyard Colossus. Heck yeah. Then we can do some Overwatch. Every card in my entire hand I want to discard except for one. So if I play this, I'm going to discard that one for sure. Uh, but we will just not take the risk. Oh. Huh. That's the one card. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Man. Uh, you know what? It's a one and three. No problem. Did, did I just get a, a follow from my boy, Phantom Master Zoro? Thanks for the follow, buddy. I just set up follower alerts uh, today. And chat in the top left. Jesus Christ. Listen. I, I do not want a Cataclysm here. That's just not something that I want to do. 
but I might have to. Actually, I'm I'm a hundred percent gonna have to because I can discard my quest with this and then discard my hand and then add two of them to my hand. We're trying. He still has a 7-7. Seven, seven. We don't have any way to heal, uh, which is a problem. Except for these guys. I could play both of them. Oh, we just lose. We lose. Those are some big old boys right there. Uh, do you play any Hearthstone, Mr. Zoro? Uh, if you do, you can submit any deck you want, and I will play it. Those were some chonkers, indeed. Those were, those were some big boys. Big boys. Played it on and off very little. Well, if you want to look up like worst deck in hearthstone like uh the hermit did and post that then i'll play it but this has been this has been a rough stream i've been on a pretty hard losing streak and i'm tired that's not a bad turn two on solarium like if I had Melkazar's Imp, I would Solarium, no question. Which we might draw it. I've got a 7.4% chance twice, so like a 15% chance to draw it. We'll get some dubs on our... Yeah. Yeah, uh, Sinister was actually in here trying to get me to play Overwatch, but I was like, nah, bro, I'm streaming. Not nose to the grindstone and all that. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Maybe just hero power here. I saw he posted your stream in Discord, and I just got on and saw you were still on. Yeah. Uh, Monday through Friday, 2 to 5 p.m. That's going to change soon because of my new uh, promotion at work. Hopefully. Um, but we'll see. Malkazar's Imp. Come on. Give it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's real bad. Uh, but we'll discard two cards and have a... Two, three on board. It's probably fine enough. And then I'll draw three. Didn't realize you stream so often. Uh, it's a new schedule. Like, I just started streaming last week or the week before, but I've I've stuck to the schedule pretty pretty regularly. And then from each stream, I upload the vods to YouTube and then upload one or two of the games to YouTube. Uh, switching to a daily upload. Consistency is key, man. You just gotta. Just gotta keep at it and eventually, hopefully, things will <laughs> uh, turn out better. I am not the boss of you. Ooh, Fist of Draxus was huge there. That's eight damage. Where are them socials at? So, uh, I haven't made a Twitter or Instagram yet, but YouTube's down there. <laughs> um. My old Twitter for this uh, brand, the Midnight Gamer, I switched over to my game development uh, brand, uh, Virtual Night Studios. But it looks freaking legit. I need to discard cards here. This will discard Fist. Oh, High Priest. But every card in my hand, I want to discard except for one. So, we'll just soul fire. Clutch mother. Jesus, nearly 2k on YouTube. My guy's living a double life. That's right. Uh, but if you'll notice those views, I think my latest video is up to four 
maybe five views. Not 500, five. <laughs> Uh, all of that came from that video that almost got a million views. The, like, Clash of Clans video. Eight, uh, 813,000. But yeah, I, I don't really post this on social media or, uh, in Discord or anything, because I'm embarrassed, kinda. But, you know, people gotta figure out sometime. We need... Oh, if we discard a card, we can... No. Just don't discard High Priestess, please. Actually, let's play High Priestess. And then Expired Merchant. Into Nightshade. That's fine. Because he's playing a pretty slow burny deck, it looks like. Um... So nether portal here is going to be okay. I was going to be embarrassed by everyone in the Discord wants to start streaming. Yeah, um, just not a lot of people in there. I know specifically TJ wants to start streaming, but um, I, not a lot of people in there like have the motivation or whatever to actually start. Uh, it's just it's more of. Cl I know he wanted to do something with Clifton. Um, but the best way to, to start is just to start. Like, my first stream, I had no border on my webcam. It was in, like, the bottom left, like, scrunched up. There was no chat on the, the thing. There was no follower alerts. Nothing like that. Like, I'm just slowly making the stream better and better every time I get on. Oh, am I dead? I'm dead. It only has four cards. There's no way you can kill me. Three mana! still four cards there's no way don't you dare even double eviscerate doesn't do it he what do, how how sinister strike sure and eviscerate sure if you have prep eviscerate you got it you didn't so i win <laughs> it's really bad as yeah um I know, I'm, I'm an inspiration. That's the whole reason I freaking started it. Because making games is hard. Uh, doing YouTube solo is really hard. Um, but streaming is pretty, it's pretty fun. And uploading the VODs directly to YouTube is an easy way to hit your daily uploads. And then picking one cool game from the stream to upload is also not bad. Dude, making thumbnails is way easier than I thought it was. My thumbnails are popping. I just need to make a thumbnail for my VODs. But don't worry, I'm only live for another uh, 15 minutes. Then we can jump on some OW. Use that for the thumbnail. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you gotta be like, she did what? <laughs> or, uh, this card got nerfed? There you go. Yep. <laughs> Those are the thumbnail faces. Those, like, uh, I still don't know how to use the lasso tool in anything, but I, like, Taking solid images with vector backgrounds and rotating them is easy. Uh, cutting faces out of pictures is really hard. Because I don't know how to do it. Who posted it in Discord, by the way? Was it friggin' Sinister? It was sinister. Can't believe him. <laughs> what does that even mean? Midnight, go stream, stream. <laughs> oh, I okay. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I get it. Uh, 
you know, I'm gonna hit him with an honest sleep dart next time I see him. We don't really have anything fun to discard right now. That's something fun to discard. So you know that joke, um, you're you're American whenever you go into the bathroom, and you're an American whenever you come out of the bathroom. What are you whenever you're in the bathroom? European. I came up with a joke that's very similar to that, and probably already exist. But what do you call it? Or if you're an American whenever you're running late for the airport, and you're an American whenever you get off the airplane, what were you? Getting to the airport. Hold on. What were you whenever you were at the airport? You were rushing. Because you were running late. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The joke's there. Alright. I, I just gotta work on it. It's fine. There's also a bot named Feet. There's a bot named Feet that's always here. Uh, if you go to the stream chat up in the top right, it says users in chat. Uh, another TTV viewer is a, a bot. Feet is a bot. F to pay R is a bot. K4Z444KPL3THK1L1K is a bot. Lemon Juice is 12 is a bot. And Nuclear Pigeons is a bot, I believe. Nuclear Pigeons might not be. I've never, never heard that name before. Let's unstable fell bolt and then double soul fire. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. Oh no, nuclear might not be. No, no, like I've never seen him. Nuclear Pigeon sounds like an issue in Fallout. Yeah. Yeah, you're just walking around Fallout and you freaking get attacked by Nuclear Pigeons. That reminds me. A fat bird attacked me today while I was at lunch. Didn't attack me, but it tried. It was pissed, and I don't know why. I was sitting in my car. I was looking at my phone, and I just hear like a against the window. And I look over, and a bird is sitting on my left or my driver's side, like, rear view mirror thing. My side mirror. And he's just dead eyeing me. And I'm like, what do you want? And then he flies up to a tree and then just keeps staring at me. I'm like, am I going to get slapped whenever I get out of the car? Like this, I feel like I'm going to die. But that's my story of the pigeon that was pissed off. He was real mad. Um, I, don't, I guess we just play a, a high priestess. He wanted your lunch. I didn't have anything. I had a bag of closed almonds in my floorboard, but he couldn't see that. Maybe he wanted me. I've always been called a delicate flower. Wait, birds don't like flowers, it's bees. Never mind. He knows a breadwinner. That's right. He knows a breadwinner when he sees one. That's a large dragon. That's a really large dragon that was picked up by a claw machine. It's the same freaking deck that beat us last time. I think we just play Silver Rogue Golem here. Just to maintain tempo. It's like he's he's out tempoing me with a 7 Eleven taunt. He's got Slurpees over there. Because it's a 7 Eleven. He's got Slurps. Uh, 
up against the 7-Eleven dragon. Yep. Uh, oh no. I'm not gonna get a chance to complete my quest. Um, best draw here is Cataclysm. I might life tap into it or try to. That's really the only way I killed both of those. Hmm. I don't know. I don't have anything with one health for a defile play. Oh yeah, I do. Maybe that's what I do. Do that, discard that, defile, and then play that and have a 3-4 taunter with lifesteal. That's, that's all I got. That's the best I got. If he has a way to remove a taunt, a minion with charge, or anything like that. I, there's a taunt in the way, sir. 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 Now. That's a 3-4. You must respect her authority. Alright. Can't. No. No face. No face until you deal with the 3-4. That card got banned in standard. That 5 mana 4-4 four, four got banned. That's pretty good. The fact that that happened. If he plays another dragon here, again, I might tap into... Uh... Ooh. He still has Nazoth, which is scary, but he hasn't played like Fizzy Elemental or anything. He's just played a Circus Malgum and some dragons. Which I wouldn't have played that dragon. It ruins his dragon pool. Yeah, you just play two more <laughs> High Priestess. They're Lifesteal, they're Taunt, they're Vampires. That's the Scrapyard Colossus. There's his Elemental. Fizzy Elemental is a good Elemental, but that one's probably better. Okay. Uh, what does the gold border mean? Like, on a card? Like, on this one? That just means that uh, this one in particular, uh, I earned by getting... A high enough level with warlock but if you like have a gold border with one that has a gemstone it's just like a foil in magic the gathering i really need a way to discard that is a way to discard Okay. I really want the High Priestess. Uh, to be discarded again. I'm going to risk it. I think High Priestess is really valuable in this matchup. Nether portal, so we can nether portal cataclysm here, and after we kill his 7-3, and we have a way to get rid of Malchazar's imp so we don't deck ourselves. But nether portal on turn 10 is way less good than nether portal on 5. Like if you go turn 1, uh, whatever, basically turn 4. Four Cataclysm will discard your entire hand and then complete the quest. And then turn five, you play that, you get a six four every single turn. It's pretty good. Gosh, that's a lot of value. Oh, 
Oh, we die. We die anyway, because we have two Hand of Gold on. So we can't Cataclysm or else we die that way. Um, I don't see a world where we live. So I guess we just play Jakili or whatever. But this is 100% the last game for the night. How am I doing, Phantom Master Zoro? 10 out of 10 stream? 12 out of 10 stream. 7 out of 11 10 stream. Probably the best stream you've ever seen in your life. 100 out of 10. That is 10 times better than the maximum that scale allows. Super Pogger stream. It's the best. All right. So check this out also. You ready? It's like I leveled up in Mario. We need to get... Yes, that's that's what I'm hoping for, man. I'm streaming a lot. My, my goal is to get the stream for 25 unique days out of 30. Uh, it'll be hard since you don't have any boobs, but it's possible. I mean, I can... I can wear a crop top. That's fine. Uh, but this is what I do at the end of my streams is I like to go full screen and kind of thank everybody who was here, even if they aren't here. Uh, so Santi, appreciate Santi for being here. Appreciate you, Phantom. Uh, we had Wild Child in here for a bit. We had Hermit. And of course, we got to thank the bots. Another TTV viewer. Feet. F to pay respects, K4, and then a bunch of stuff, lemon juices, and of course, nuclear pigeons. Uh, who could forget nuclear pigeons? Um, but this is the end of the stream. Uh, go ahead and check out my YouTube channel at The Midnight Gamer. Uh, I post these streams straight to that YouTube as soon as we're done, and uh, I will probably be posting one or two games from this stream onto my YouTube channel. So go over there and check it out. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching again. Have a good rest of your day.